we're here at Rockingham today to uh, do some development driving of the brand new Aston Martin Vantage. We have a special guest arriving, which is Max Verstappen. We're not completely finished with the development, but it'd be interesting to get his feedback and we can take that learning back into the final development of the car. It looks very aggressive, completely different to how the car looked before. I really like the, the rear diffuser. It looks a lot more aggressive and sporty, so I really like it. Let's go for a spin then. Absolutely. This is what's called a VP level car, so it's a verification prototype. Yeah. So the first level you have is a mule car, which is called an M1, and then you go to VP, which is verification prototype. And then there's two more build phases after this car. As you can see, we've tried to make the car so it's playful, yeah. so you can have fun with it. But still, like, but still very controllable. Yeah, because you have some cars out there that are like Yeah, really some snappy. cars are just very snappy yeah. and they'll just immediately... We have got some spare rear tyres. Yeah, so. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> you want to drive? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's swap. to drive on the right side. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. This is just over 500 horsepower. Um, it's got 685 newton meters of torque. In terms of the weight of the car, it's 1530 dry, so it's close to 200 kilos lighter than the DB11 V12. Okay. In terms of the length of the car, it's 100 millimeters shorter in the wheelbase, which again that helps, makes it more fun. Exactly, it makes it more fun and more agile, as you can see. It's really easy to just control. Yeah. Like, you can feel like really well if the rear is stepping out of it to control it. Well, at least you got the hang of that already. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's very racing. Yeah. You know, if I mean, for sure, you can also drive normally with it. Yeah. But... I guess you don't get to slide your Formula One car around here. No, that's a bit of a shame. You'd have to make sure you get one of these as your next company car. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, it's all a lot of fun. Yeah, it's always nice coming back here because I had my first time ever in an F1 car here. And then also trying a new car was quite impressive. I was really, uh, really happy with the handling of the car, turn shifting, up shifting, drifting it around the, the track a bit. And it was just really easy to, to control and yeah, really happy with that. A really, really good day. Max really enjoyed the car. Um, what he really liked was the playful nature of the car. We're nearing the end of development, so the next thing we're looking forward to is to driving the car on the road.